Hello. Welcome back to Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night. We just beat the final boss, so don't come here expecting action. We're just having the ending and stuff. She could have done so much good. She did. She was too strong. Look at my cool glasses, by the way. I know. Dude. Wait. The Libelo Goyeth. It's mine now. The book. The book that started it all. Yeah. What are you going to do with it? Put it in a museum, probably. The same thing the master was trying to do. Read it. Before he died, he inscribed Enochian letters onto each of the castle's structural weaknesses. Whoa! Now, I will use the book to perform a rite here at the heart of the castle. A rite right here? The rite will activate the Enochian script and send the castle and demons back from whence they came. Can I go there too? So that's what Alfred was trying to accomplish. There were some pretty good looking demons. We need to begin. Stand back, Miriam. Why? This isn't the structures. Can we get out of the castle first? Before you do this. Great. Thanks, dude. Look what you've done. Calm down. Whoa, shine. Oh, 60 FPS. Whoa! Sky Seal. The Seal of Orichalcos. Look. It's pretty cool, that is. I guess. Yeah, it is. There it goes. How did we get out here? Probably way stones. He's touching her ass. Is he? I don't know. Maybe that was part of the background. There's a tiny sun over there. Gone now. Yeah, for now. Yes. You've made the world right again. Yeah, I have. Not without sacrifice. Jeebel. Alfred. Yeah. He's not dead, he got pulled into the ground. Jeebel's fate was already sealed. There was nothing you could have done. Yeah, there was. Got on there earlier. And the master. And Tom Getz made their own choices. They fought gladly and proudly for what they believed in. Oh wait, did you say Jeebel? There was nothing you could do. I thought he was talking about Alfred Rowe. Lives like this deserve to be celebrated. Yeah. True. And demons still remain in this world. Like Johannes. We can grieve later. After finishing the last of them off. Oh, DLC incoming. Probably not. That reminds me. The Master took note of how I was forestalling your corruption and yeah. suggested some improvements. Take them out entirely now. I think I might be able to stop the crystal from overtaking you permanently. Oh! Really? I can't make any promises, but yes, I think. So? Well, thank you, Johannes. He thinks so. You're very welcome. What? Come on, let's go home. What? What? What was that? I'm supposed to say, and I'll do my best not to let you down. Whatever. Right. What a good game. Look at that dodgy floor. Don't just leave that there. Any old traveller might come along and find it and then kill the real moon. Maybe that's the storyline of the next game. See, it's already gone. That didn't take long, did it? Bloody farmer probably nicked it. Well, there you go. It's a credits and reviews part. I guess I might as well put some bonus at, at the end of this. I'm not going to watch the whole credits. It's bloody long. I'm just going to watch it for as long as I review. Yeah. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. It's very tasty. It's obviously got some jank. And stuff. How do you even speed this up? You don't. You do, because Vinny did in his playthrough. But anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Like, I love the game. It's in my favourites on Steam. I'm a sucker for Metroidvanias, especially when they have all this loot. The only trouble with the loot in this game is I think they went a bit overboard with the crafting, but even then, like, th I had 30 hours in my 100% playthrough. You know, that's still less than a, a JRPG. So, you know. 
but when half of it is grinding, it's a bit annoying. But at least you do get some very nice boosts to luck and stuff towards the end. Also, if you beat the OD fight, you can go back to the library and take out all the books at once, which is pretty cool. And yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Just a very tasty game. Always fun. Maybe I'll stream a randomizer run someday, I'm not sure. It's a bit less interesting than randomizers for other games, especially since it can be broken. You can get in an unwinnable state, which is a shame. But, um, but yeah. Anyway, graphics. I don't know if I'll give numbers anymore, because I'm not a good judge, I don't care. But I'll give a number overall for the game. But yeah, graphics, they look nice. Obviously some of the some of the models are animated a bit weirdly. But it all looks as nice as it needs to. Some nice nicely detailed areas. Some areas are a bit not as good looking like the Inferno Cave in my opinion. But yeah, just just a nice nice looking game, plenty of nice effects. And good variety music, well audio, the music is amazing obviously, if I gave numbers music alone would get a 10 out of 10. The voice acting can be a bit dodged sometimes but it's not awful. You know obviously, like, it doesn't seem like very high budget voice acting but it's better than, it's better than your average, your typical low budget voice acting, I don't know if it is low budget but you know it's good. It's not bad. Some characters, like minor characters, can be a bit weird, but whatever. Mostly the accents, yeah, the music and stuff is just beautiful. I guess my only real complaint with sound is Miriam doesn't shut up. I wish there was a separate setting for Miriam's battle sounds, so like maybe you can turn them off or make them less common. I don't want to hear Taps OC Taps OCS Taps OCS. So I'm sorry for all that again. Congratulations if you've made it this far. God, it was overwhelming. It was exhausting on the brain. Um, but yeah. Gameplay. It does have some weirdnesses, some little bugs. Like there was that bit where I fell through the cogs in the clock tower, which was rather mouldy. And there are some times where, like, attacks just don't seem to work. It's very rare, but there were some times where I would press the button to use Tepsosius. Well, not sometimes. It happened, like, once or twice in the whole playthrough, or a few times. But she, like, sticks her hand out as if she's using it, but it doesn't come out, even though I had mana. Because if I didn't have mana, she wouldn't stick her hand out. So, yeah, I don't know if it's, like lag eating the input, well obviously it isn't because her arm went out so it, it detected the input. So yeah, there are some weird things. Some slightly unclear hitboxes because, like, I don't know, big enemies, like you can stand in some bits of them but not others. That's alright. Yeah, just overall it's good old, good old Egervania, good fun. Lots of loot. Fuck tons of equipment. Shit, sorry. Oh shit, sorry. Oh bloody hell, sorry. Oh yeah, that boss. I'm so fast you won't even see me. God. Um, yeah. I don't know, it's just addictive. I played through this like twice fully. And like four or five times in a randomizer, at least as far as I could, so fudge knows how many hours I've got in this now. Because even the steam counter isn't accurate because I was playing offline when I was doing the randomizers, for some reason. But yeah, anyway. Can this speed up a bit? What else? Lifespan, obviously it's long. Story. It's, it's fine. You know, it's pretty much your typical I'm evil so I'm going to take over the world with demons, but, you know, it's got some interesting stuff with the crystals and all that, I guess. But overall, I give this game a high 8 out of 10. Personally, it's probably even a bloody 10, because I just love it, but, 
like I feel like it deserves an 8 in terms of like quality and stuff. Maybe even a 7 if it's just quality, but just the game itself makes up for it by just being fun. Probably a 9 actually, whatever. Yeah, if it's 10 personally and 8 otherwise, I guess 9 feels like it makes more sense somewhere in the middle. Speed up! How do you... oh. Never mind, escape just closes it, sorry. I don't like skipping credits entirely, but oh well. Oh yeah. Let's um, have a quick look at... Should we just have a quick look at... Don't want to look at Boss Rush. I haven't looked at Boss Revenge yet. Let me just have a quick look at a randomizer. Oh, there's Use What You See, and there's my other currently... Wait, what? What do you mean randomizer clear? I don't know. That's my hard mode New Game Plus. Let's just do a new randomizer just to show it. Randomize, well, randomize zero, MTE. Just to show you quickly, uh, whatever. The key items anywhere. Sure, we can change the save and warp rooms. I don't know what the point of that is really, but total random crafting shuffled. It's all very silly. This isn't one I'm going to continue playing so it can just do whatever I want with it. As in I can just do whatever I want with it. But yeah, at the moment at least, it's like... It's possible for things to... In fact, it's very likely for things to spawn beyond reach. Because it's not a very well made randomizer. There is a mod out there that like enhances it and makes you able to get certain things. Oh yeah, you have to hope you get a weapon early, otherwise you start doing one damage. That's a problem as well. But at least that is understandable. But yeah, still good fun. Some things you probably don't want to randomize, like crafting, because it gets a bit silly. Look at this. What are you supposed to do? Wow, I did a critical one damage. Oh, at least I have a... At least I have a soul. I get. Summon chair. Great. Thanks, game. I'm not fighting you. You're annoying. Especially doing one damage to you. There's no point, or oh, I don't know, you might drop a sword or something. Whoa. Wow. Something that I'm not going to have the stuff to make for a long time, probably. I'll kill one of you, just in case. Get over here! Or I'll use my chair on you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, how about that, huh? Pick up the birdie ass. Is this the sound it makes in bed? I hope so. See how, see how annoying this is. Uh, oh, that's not... That's not Gale Cutter, whatever. There we go, I got a Thunderbird plume. A plume from the final boss of Zelda 2. Let's kill this one as well now. I'm just gonna run through it and hope I get something from the chests and not fight you. Oh! I'll just die instead. At least we got a Thunder Circlet, I guess. I haven't got any healing items yet, so yeah, I am dead, because I can't get over him. Ugh! We're still early in the part, so I kind of want to... 
kind of want to do another one. I want to at least get somewhere. I just love the excitement of not knowing what you're going to get. Oh, it's the same one, okay. Well, we know not to bother going anywhere up there. You have to start the whole thing over if you die. No. I think these can drop something in the randomizer. In fact, let's have a look. Yeah, they can. They've got two items. They usually don't have any items or souls. Ugh, so many menus. What was this? Just that. Cool, now I can summon more chairs. You best hope you get a weapon before the boss, eh? Hey. What a luxurious beginning. I guess I should kill you. Don't disappear. I do believe it even like randomizes the chances of item drops or something, like it shuffles them about. Look at her. She looks like that villain from from Boku Heroes. Boku Heroes Academy. I can't be asked to warp. Wait, what? Oh right, because they're shuffled. I was going to say, I can't be asked to save, I can't be asked to kill you. But, um, but then I saw it as a warp room, so my brain auto-adjusted magically. Right, all, all these health and MP upgrades are nice and all, but... Actually, since this ended up only being four weeks, shall I just do the randomizer as far as I can and fill up another two weeks. No, I'm joking, don't worry. Here, go away. Can I have a weapon? As long as it's not a gun, I'll take any weapon. Wait, no, a gun would be okay, actually, because you've got infinite basic ammo. Click. You have to give me something, don't you? That one is guaranteed to, I do believe. What do we get? <gasps> Summon Tracer. Oh no, not her. She's got a big ass. Apparently. It made people angry. Whoa! It's expensive, though. I guess that was from those eyeballs underground towards the end of the game. Oh. oh it's still got him. What was Zangetsuto? Wait, what? From a blue chest? Maybe I... Okay, maybe I will... Oh no, I chose to defeat Jeebo, didn't I? Fucking hell. Maybe I'll look at this video and... Wait, or did I already set up the... I don't know. The mod that I downloaded. I don't know. Maybe I'll look at the seed and remake this seed and... Do defeat true evil. Finally, one that I can actually... Well, I mean, so far it seems like I could actually beat it. Don't know yet if the required movement cells are going to be in a impossible to reach places. Chop! Let's do this just for fun. Oh, let me do it. For fun. It doesn't work on fireballs, apparently. No, it doesn't. How good. Gram? Sure, let's use that for a bit instead. Just for a laugh. It may be less damage, but we didn't see much of the great swords, did we? And we can do this. Whoa. Oi! Oh, I'm out of MP. Look at this good stuff. Now this is a run you could play. So far, anyway. 
We can I have a save room? No. Oh, it's silly. Why are these in blue chests? They respawn. Does that mean I can come back and get more MP upgrades? Probably not. Look at all that. Trash. Yeah, if you don't want to see any of the bonus stuff, like, I guess I'll check out Boss Revenge and Zangetsu mode or something. If you don't want to see him, playthrough's over. I hope you enjoyed. Ugh. And uh, I'll see you in whatever's next on Monday. But until then... Don't worry, I'm not going to let this cut into the weekend at least. we got to have our whatever's being uploaded right now. Either Tomb Raider 4, still. Or Legend of Grimrock 2, hopefully that. Steel Lightning? Didn't see enough of the spears either, did we? That's even less damage. Oh, what? No, that's a great sword. Okay, whatever. I like the lightning swords. They seem to multi-hit. Yeah, just like that. Don't go over here. Unless you have a fire thing. Just go beat the boss quick for some reason. Spiked breasts. Yum, that is massive defense. I guess I could quickly go to town as well and have a look at the crafting. Just to show you how naffed up it is. And I love randomizers. Even if it isn't very well made in this one. Ultimate ammunition. Whatever. It's just fun. Why are you dropping all dragon stuff? I'm fairly sure it doesn't like shuffle all of the enemies' drops, like as in that that enemy drops everything that a dragon would, and other enemies drop everything that whatever else would. I think it's every every single item is randomly shuffled about between people. What the hell? Oh. I guess this armor damages on contact. I didn't know about that one. Well, I probably did, but you know, who bothers using different stuff when they've got the best stuff? What's going on? Oh, I was touching its tentacles with my bod. Yeah, have a worm. Die in the face. You ain't got that much ill. I've got a big old tasty wow dagger expertise, cheers. Oh. What a weird intro. I had a lot of fun doing a run where I got the um, accelerator soul early. I got it like before I even went in the castle, I think. So I was just running the whole game. God, I miss that now. You get it so late in the game, it's annoying. Oh, you're here already. What a bloodbath! What do you want? Wait. Right. No, you still want the same stuff, I guess. You just give different things. What did she give? Hello. I don't know now. She gives... Hair Apparent 3. Cheers. Bye. I'm not even going to get any seeds, because you have to find them in the chest before they show up in the shop, maybe. Actually, they're not even going to be in the shop, because that's shuffled. You there? Yeah. Wow. Help my Monster bird hair. Right. I'll end this video. 
after I look in the shop and stuff. Oh yeah, she's here from the start now. Hello. Look at all this. You can buy everything. Not everything, but random stuff. Oh hell yeah, I totally have 19,000 gold right now. Oh, Tunic is there. Whatever though. You can already do this. Fairy dust, except of course you're probably not going to get the recipes for them in a long time. So, you know, it's a bit dodgy really, isn't it? What do you have? Here she is. Thanks for the fried fish. What are we transmuting this time? I don't know, it depends what you've got. I need a demon tail and a moon wake to make some silk. I need a bronze two bronze chest guards and two hofords to make a potion. Great. Once I've transmuted Yeah, whatever, man. Don't talk to me. See. You probably shouldn't shuffle the um, crafting, because that kind of stuff happens. You need to use armor and rare weapons to make a single bloody normal potion. Not that you're ever really going to use those items unless you gave 100% anyway, so I guess it's not a big deal, but... But yeah. There you go. A good little example of what the randomizer's like. 500 gold from that. Is this a save point? No. At least the save point down there is still a save point. Where the hell was that bat going? Right, let me. Oh, it's just a blue chest. I just want to get a couple more things because it's fun. Oh, another blue chest. I'm curious. I think they will respawn. But then all the blue chests early. Let's see what's up the um the drawbridge as well. What's up here as well? What have you got? I don't know. I can't see it. How about this? Bronze and sugar. They go together like spaghetti and mustard. Actually, that probably isn't bad. Spaghetti and jelly beans. I'm just curious what's up here. And then I'll bugger off. So thanks for watching this part and this play for fried rice. And I'll see you... Tomorrow, capacity, capacity, oh. I wonder if it could have been chests, probably not, I don't know. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for a bit more bonus content. Maybe it'll just be one more bonus content video. I don't want to make too many, I'll probably just try each thing briefly. Whoa! Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye. I can't stop, but I have to. Yeah, yeah, I do. God, this hallway is the longest hallway in life. I just want to see what the chests up here have, actually. Why are you alive? You had small webbing somehow. You had a strawberry, which I think you usually have anyway, or a lemon. What is with all the blue chests? Right, anyway, yeah, bye. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Oh! I just got summoned Simeon from a bat.